uh, this talk is just going to have a couple of data sets um, largely coming out of Jed Bowen's lab up at Northeastern, where I'm a postdoc. Uh, and I'm going to talk mainly about how nitrogen uh, influences carbon dynamics in, in salt marshes and how that may have implications to carbon sequestration. So we performed a, a meta-analysis on studies that looked at uh, the effect of nitrogen enrichment on uh, plant production, uh, specifically in Spartina-dominated habitats. And this, um, we calculated the log response ratio of the plants in response to uh, different forms of nitrogen. So uh, in, in the graph here, you see all the studies that we included and um, uh, be, uh, organized by the type of nitrogen that was added in the study, so ammonium, ammonium nitrate, nitrate, and uh, organic nitrogen. And in general, we found that when nutrients are added as nitrate, plant growth is lower than with other forms. So that's what's shown, the log response ratio, the averages there on that graph. And so what we are hypothesizing is that um, unlike ammonium, where the plants like ammonium take it up really readily, um, with nitrate, when you're adding nitrate, you can be stimulating um, decomposition because nitrate, like sulfate, is um, used instead of oxygen under anaerobic processes um, by microbes to respire um, organic matter. And this is through processes like denitrification and DNRA. So we're hypothesizing that nitrate is used uh, more readily as an electron acceptor, fueling this respiration rather than nutrient stimulating growth. And so obviously it has um, implications to carbon. So adding nitrate may release more CO2 um, as opposed to adding ammonium, which may um, promote organic carbon uh, fixation or CO2 fixation. Um, so uh, some evidence of this up at the Plum Island uh, LTER site. Uh, you might be familiar with the TIDE program. Um, they've been enriching uh, two salt marsh systems with nitrate. Um, long-term, large-scale uh, uh, nutrient enrichment experiment. Uh, Ketel Coop Jacobson and Ann Giblin found that, in fact, denitrification rates and DNRA rates are enhanced at these uh, enriched sites, um, both in the tidal creek as well as the marsh platform. So yes, nitrate stimulates denitrification and DNRA. But what is also interesting is that it also stimulates um, the microbes are, are given this energy source and they're allowed, uh, require, they're allowed to um, access carbon that they couldn't access before. So more complex carbon. And Ashley Belseco, who we'll talk after this, uh, is going to talk more about her very elegant um, uh, controlled experiment that, that looks at this. So this graph just shows when you add nitrate, so the... Uh, the orange bars here, when you add nitrate um, in, shallow, in salt marsh sediments from shallow, mid, and deep, uh, the, the ratio of DIC to ammonium production um, increases. And this is a proxy for the, the carbon quality that's being decomposed, the C to N ratio of that. So a higher C to N ratio indicates um, more complex um, carbon substrates being accessed. Um, back in the field up at Plum Island, we also see that um, using uh, uh, molecular techniques, we, we saw that um, nitrate in the enriched sites are promoting heterotrophic microbes that are conducting these, this denitrification, DNRA, um, increasing nitrate respiration. And uh, specifically, this was some work done by Pat Kearns at the, uh, in the Bowen lab. He saw that uh, fungal orders, so specific fungi that are, are known to denitrify are enhanced. So this is the abundance, and green is in the enriched site, and, and uh, blue is reference. So um, specific denitrifying fungi are enhanced when you add nitrate. And um, a quick graph is just showing that also nitrate reduction genes. Again, green is enriched sites, and blue is reference. So these genes are all associated with uh, nitrate respiration, denitrification, and DNRA and they tend to be uh, higher in, in the enriched salt marshes. <clears throat> so take-home message is that we need to consider 
not just the amount of nitrogen that's being added to systems and to salt marshes, but also the form of that nitri nitrogen um, when we're in assessing the carbon storage capacity of these marshes in a, in a more nutrient-enriched world. Um, so more nitrate can stimulate more decomposition because it's an electron acceptor. Um, right, so it, it behaves differently. Great. Thank right. you, Ashley.